Welcome back to VBPA Tutorials. I'm Mankat. In this video, let us create user table in Entity Framework and let's migrate that to database. This is our project, and this this is the user table fields, and these are the commands we can use. Let's copy this. Let's go to data folder. Go to your project and expand data folder. You can see all database related files. Right click on data folder, add class, name it as a user. That's a user table. And you can paste these things. Let me comment it. So these are the fields we need to add. If you want to quickly add properties type pro you can see prop here okay press tab once and start typing string username so like that here also pro tab string password pro tab string password salt So like that. Let me copy paste integer user type. Is active is is active is of type boolean. And is deleted is deleted also boolean. This created date is date time. And the modified date is date time. Modified date also date time. So we have created all fields. So now the comments are not required. Let me remove the comments. Okay. So we have created a class and added the fields. Okay. Here we need to add the ID. Integer ID. So if you look at the other tables student table has id department table has id okay like that we have added the id to the users table also okay before running the migration we need to add the user table inside the context file okay college db context so let's add that entry here this is the table entry so let me copy paste that line. I have copy pasted it and modify the name. What is our tables? What is our table name? Users. Okay, you can see here I have added one DB set. It is a user type and table name is this. We have added a DB set. That means we have added table in the entity framework. Here we need to add the configuration also. I have copy pasted this. Here we need to create user config. Okay, that's the user config. We haven't created user config. So let's go. Let's go to config folder and right click add class user config. Add it. So this is the user config. In this, we need to put user related configuration so let me copy this quickly i have copied it so this one we have already discussed in the previous videos no need to discuss it again everyone knows this okay i have copy pasted and let's modify the name user table Copy it and this one is user builder. This one is users. Table name is the users. And we don't need any data. Remove that. For now, we do not have any relationships. Delete that. Okay. This is the table, user config table. So what is our uh, 
field name username username is required and password password also required so do we have any max length let's not put any max length requirement if you have any max length requirement you can add it so this one is required pass username required password required password salt required is deleted required is active required and uh, created date required modified date is optional and what else user type required user type required okay this is the configuration so we are adding the user table so now this user config where is the context yeah this is the context so now the error is gone so we have added a table context context table and we have added the configuration now this is the time to add the migration so let's go here copy this add migration and your migration your name migration name let's go to package manager console and make sure that you have selected your college app project if you select the other project it will fail so now add migration and your migration name adding user table okay type that and press enter build started build succeeded and migration is created if you want to create the if you want to remove this migration you need to you need to execute this command you can see remove migration okay if you don't want this created migration you can execute this remove migration command let me copy that here so that's the command and let's look at the migration file this is the migration so here you can see it is creating a table with name this and it is creating all these fields and primary key okay that's it so let's add this to the database so we have just created the migration if you refresh this so there will be no tables created you can see no table created so if you want to update this to database execute this command update a database go to package manager console paste it and enter so migration is done let's go to the db again let me refresh it you can see there is a table user table okay so this one has these are the columns and you can see first one is the primary key column and here in the configuration you can see it is a primary key column it's a key column and we have marked it as a auto increment use identity column okay so we have created user table in the next video let us create the remaining tables like role and all role mappings all tables for more videos like this please like share and subscribe thank you